Hi, I'm Chris Jorstedt with TheBestArizonaHome.com and I'm here with Shane Tibiotowski today with Cardinal Financial and we are talking about VA loans, uh, that is uh, yeah, veteran loans. Veteran um, administration, yep. Yeah, specifically for uh, veterans. veterans. Yeah. Uh, my favorite. Why? I'm a veteran and I love helping veterans. I do all loans but I really enjoy these uh, because I think that uh, they're just fantastic loans. They scare people. They scare people like you, realtors. Oh, do they not the scare you? Yeah. 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 But I think that they're they're fantastic loans. And like we've talked about in the previous segments as far as FHA loans, they're government backed. So the government has a very viable interest in making sure that this house is going to appraise for what it needs. VA loans are fantastic because um, they don't have any mortgage insurance attached to them. Oh, okay. So where a conventional loan, if you don't put 20% uh, down, um, or, FHA. You have, or FHA, you have mortgage insurance. Right. So VA, with not having mortgage insurance, really opens up more house. Because of uh, debt to income ratio. Correct. The cool thing about VA, and this is for a different time, but we can get into this into a different video. We have gotten personally VA loans done at 68% debt to income ratio. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there again lies, like we've talked about in other videos on these different types of loans, different criteria. Mm -hmm. And so VA is very, very particular with certain things, residual income. Okay. So how many people live in the house? Um, how much, you know, cause they, there's so many factors where that, that customer might be getting what's called uh, disability. Mm -hmm. Okay, or if they're in the military, they're getting uh, housing allowance. So there's so many different variables and that's why it's always good to be educated on it and talk to us, but VA loans are fantastic. If you've been in the military, um, you know, four year stint, uh, have, don't even have to have been in combat, but you're in for four years, you're eligible. If you are in the reserves of any type, you have to have six years in. Okay. Unless you've been to combat. Okay. So there's different criteria again, as far as for what they meet. Um, the neat thing about VA loans is not only are they backed, um, but they're very, um, how do we want to say? Um, they're just, they're special. Like you got to be married to, ha to add the wife on or to add somebody on. You can't just add anybody. You can't have a co-borrower, can't have a co-signer, can't do any of that kind of stuff. Um, if you have, um, somebody that does want to, and maybe I should back that up a little bit. You can have a co-signer, but the government gives you 25% insurance on that. So if you do have a co-signer that comes in, they have to put down 12.5%. Oh, wow. They have to cover that. Wow. Versus they'll only insure the, the veteran. Amazing loans. I think that they're amazing. I think that they're easy. I'm a VA specialist. I think that they're super easy to do. Um, and they're, they're any loan to, to get somebody into a house is fun. Uh, but for me personally, being a combat vet myself, you, um, it's just amazing to be able to, uh, get somebody and their family into a house that, uh, you know, served our country. Absolutely. Yep. And so if you're, you're a veteran and you're looking to get a VA loan, Here's your guy, the specialist. <laughs> hey, questions like we talked about, communication, VA loans, there's so much that does go along with them, uh, but we can all have that figured out literally in like two minutes. Awesome. Yep. All right, thanks Shane. Thank you.